Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial of easy video series. This is our week 3 going on in LaTeX and in this tutorial we are going to see inserting images side by side using the sub figure package. The sub caption package, I'm sorry. So we directly look at the example in order to get the things more clear. So in my previous video we showed how we can insert three images side by side in LaTeX. So basically the code is begin many page, 32% of the text width image first, image second and image third. The LaTeX code will be available in the video description. You can copy paste the code and do your coding. Remember for all the image related stuff, the image should be present in the same folder as your tech file is present. Okay, so if you are working in C drive, if C drive has an image.tech9, all the images that are inserted into that file should be present in C drive itself. Now the issue with this code is basically if you have the images are being inserted like I have a black image, a yellow image and a red image. So we have figure 1 black image, figure 2 yellow image and figure 3 as the red image inserted side by side. Okay. Now it may happen that uh, you do not want the labels to be 1, 2, 3. You may mod it 1A, 1B, 1C, something kind of that. So that when you write in the text, it is easier to mention that, okay, 1A is red, 1B is yellow, 1C is red. Okay. So in order to do that, we basically come up with a subcaption package. Use package subcaption. So we use graphics for inserting the images and I have linked support for images and below that we use subcaption. Okay. So in later, you can have as many packages as you want unless they conflict. Usually there are very rare packages that conflict, but they do. So I have two packages here. So if you check the subfigure code is, see when you use the subcaption package, the keyword to be used is subfigure. So now just compare the code. If you see the code is exactly the same. Begin figure, begin figure, centering, centering. Just instead of many page, I am using subfigure. Okay, instead of many page, I am using subfigure. The B.32 text width, point T through text width, the black dot JPEG, black dot JPEG. It is identical. Caption, caption. It is end subfigure. It is end mini page. Okay. The only line that is added here is you have another caption after ending of subfigure. See, after ending of last mini page, you end the figure in the mini page environment. In subcaption, basically, what we do after end subfigure, we add another caption. Now, just check the output of it so that you will get it clear. Now we have three figures already inserted. Okay. This was using mini page. This was using mini page. Okay. This basically happened using mini page. Okay. So now I just escape it. Now see the bottom one, those are exactly three images, but you see it is A, black image, B, yellow image, C, red image, and then we have a single figure 4 here. Why figure 4? Because three figures were already inserted. Okay, so we did not have it like 4, 5, 6. Had I used mini page here, it would have been figure 4, figure 5, figure 6. Now since I am using the sub figure thing, because of the sub caption package, it comes at a, B and C. Okay. So we have three images of different colors. That is from the last line of this caption. Okay. So I hope you are able to identify the difference between this. See, this has three images, three captions. This has three images and total four captions. This becomes the main caption and all these are sub captions. So when you refer them in the text, you can say figure 4a is a black image, 4b is a yellow image and 4c is a red image. That becomes more easier that they see, okay, 4a, 4b, 4c must be related. As against figure 1, figure 2, figure 3. So that may feel it may be three different figures. Okay. So this is the example in which I have covered sub figure as well as many page together and you get the difference between the two. So depending on your requirement, you can tweak as per your performance and as per your requirement. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Goodbye.